Uh, it was reported this machine wasn't starting, so I came out to have a look. First thing you do, of course, is try to start it. You put the key in the ignition, turn it. Batteries are so dead, the dash lights won't even come on. So we'll have a look at the batteries and see what we can figure out. Okay, the battery compartment is underneath this door. We've got two 8D batteries. It takes a fair bit of juice to turn this over. If we look, there's a lot of powder here around. So we've got some corrosion happening. We'll pull the cables off, clean them up, take the batteries out, take them in and charge them. If not, we know that there's a, a wiring issue down the way. So first thing we do is loosen off the cables. We've got different sized ends here. Now when you're doing this, it's always best to unhook the ground first, because that way, once the ground's unhooked, Nothing will spark, even if you go from the positive to metal. There's no circuit, you get no sparks, much easier on equipment. So there's the ground wire off. Here's the hot wire off. And this cable hooks the two batteries together to change it from 12 volt to 24 volt, which is what the starting system on this machine uses. Now we've got a couple of hold down bolts that hold the battery in place. And they haven't been out for quite a while. Okay, now we lift out the clamp that holds the batteries in place. Set that aside. And now the batteries themselves can come out. They're fairly hefty size batteries. Okay, now that we've got the batteries out, cleaned off a little bit, we'll take them up to the shop, hook them up to the battery charger and give them a few hours to charge to see if they're taking any charge. If not, they'll need to be replaced. If they charge, we'll reinstall them, clean up the cables, and hope that that's the end of the problem. If it goes dead again, then we have to find out where the leak is that's draining the batteries. Okay, we've got this battery hooked up to the charger now. It's gonna take several hours to put a full charge into that. So I'm gonna go back down to the machine, clean out the battery box, clean up the, the cable ends, get things ready to go back together when we've got charged batteries. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing and liking the video. We have a ton of machines, so if there's one you'd like us to follow next, let us know in the comments. See you guys in the next video.